The day starts early for the Mobile Blood team. They arrive at Naval Medical Center Portsmouth shortly after 6 a.m. and make final preparations for the day ahead. At 6.30, they load the supplies on the bus and get on the road. Most days, they are set up and ready to register donors by 8 a.m., and the drive ends at noon. Today's blood drive is at USS Tortuga. The goal? 30 units. We ask you to get the medical, get your screening done, and then let's show up in force. The uh, blood mobile is at, uh, on the pier to 1,200 today. Thank you for your time. CMCL. The process is similar to donating blood at any blood donation center. Six members are on the registration team. But before potential donors can register, they must review information cards that help them determine if they are eligible to give blood. Donors are provided the cards prior to actually being registered. That way they can see what's going on. Uh, one card for HIV, one for West Nile, and one with uh, most, the most common deferrals. Deferrals are reasons someone may not be eligible to donate. Deferrals can be short-term or indefinite. Reasons include infection, recent vaccination, the use of certain medications, certain medical conditions, and deployments to certain regions. Once they're done with that, we take them over at DIBS uh, with registration. We get the demographics, name, address, contact information, put it through the system and print out a card for them. The next step is vital signs. A team member takes the blood pressure and temperature of each donor. Once they're finished here taking their vitals, filling out the questionnaire, they'll head down to the mobile and they'll be interviewed. The screening process goes a little bit more in depth in the questionnaire. The screening process is completed in privacy and is the last step to ensuring everyone is a suitable donor. Once uh, the interview is over, they'll actually be drawn. So the blood process takes anywhere between six to 10 minutes usually. I'm O negative, so I know that that blood can be used for anyone. Um, I've always donated. So you're really helping out a life. You never know when someone's going to need it. And yeah, you're saving lives, really. If I needed blood, I would hope that someone would be willing to donate for me if it was to save my life. Working on the mobile van is a very interesting experience. It's a lot different from, say, staying in an office space or anything. We're constantly on the drive, going different places, seeing different things, and always coming across new donors and experiences. By 10.30, the team is close to meeting their goal. The goal for smaller ships and shore commands is 30 units, while they hope to collect at least 40 units from larger ships and commands. So far we had a good group of people come in uh, not too long ago, and hopefully we'll get some more coming in a little bit later before we end the drive. My satisfaction is seeing a lot of people that are willing to donate and know what they're donating for, especially how many lives that they may save just from, say, a pint of blood that they give. And it's very, it's very uh, satisfying knowing that they're willing to give a part of their life to help save someone else's.